Hey guys, it's McGann. Welcome to the Fangirl. And before the Netflix series BoJack Horseman comes to an end, I want to give you my list of the ouch to real moments from the series, at least from the series so far. Number five. In season three, episode seven, Stop the Presses, Bojack is on the phone trying to cancel his newspaper subscription, but the lady at the top of the company is trying to prevent this by offering some interesting insight on life. Which is why I'm begging you to please cancel my delivery of the LA Gazette. I don't think you want to do that. I promise you I do. No, because that's just theater. It allows you to think you're in control, but the whole idea of control is a myth. The universe is a wild beast. You can't tame it. All you can do is try to live inside it. Number four. In season two, episode 10, called Yes And, Bojack and his girlfriend Wanda are breaking up, and Wanda gives us this really great little spiel about warning signs. What happened, Bojack? Same thing that always happens. You didn't know me. Then you fell in love with me. And now you know me. You know, it's funny. When you look at someone through rose-colored glasses, all the red flags just look like flags. Number three, season three, episode eight, Old Acquaintance. Bojack runs into the original director of the Secretariat movie who ended up being fired, but that director Kelsey really likes Bojack as a serious actor and wants to put him in an indie film. Even though Bojack takes the part, there's all these other people behind the scenes that are making sure it doesn't happen. When everything falls apart, Kelsey gives an awesome message about how to treat people. If you didn't want to do my movie, you should have just told me. What are you talking about? I you want to do your movie. Oh yeah? Why'd your agent keep demanding more money? What? Now the option's expired and I'm screwed. Oh, why did I get my hopes up? Why do I keep letting you get my hopes up? Kelsey, this is a mistake. Yeah, it's a mistake I keep making. Hey, next time, Bojack, do a girl a favor and don't break her heart by inches. Do it all at once. It'll save everyone some time. Huh? Number two, season two, episode 11, Escape from LA. There's actually two great moments in one long scene, so I'll kind of cut out the middle and combine them as one thing here. The first moment is when Bojack's crush explains happiness. Before you left town, you told me LA was a tar pit. Do you remember that? Oh God, I said so many things when I was young. I thought I was so deep. Well, do you still think it's true? Do I think LA is a tar pit? No, no, I think you're the tar pit me. No, not you, you. I'm just saying, like, it doesn't matter where you are, it's who you are. And that's not going to change whether you're in California or Maine or New Mexico. You know, you can't escape you. Then yada yada yada, little kiss, and the second great moment is when Charlotte explains to Bojack that he's not really in love with her. Charlotte. I have worked very hard to build this life for myself. I am happy here. And you just roll into my life like a hurricane. Why? Because we knew each other for five minutes 30 years ago? I don't know you. You do. I don't. And you don't know me. No, Charlotte, please. These last few months have been amazing. I love you Stop. and your family and this town. I never wanted to hurt. Bojack. I'm sorry I kissed you. I, I shouldn't have done that. We can pretend it didn't happen. Everything can go back to normal. No, but I no, need to. Stop. Please, no. please don't make me go back to L.A. I don't care where you go, Bojack, but I can't have you around here. You make me too sad. And my number one painfully real Bojack moment, season five, episode six, Free Churro. This episode is so unique for a television series because Bojack's mother dies and instead of dealing with it in some sitcom -y way, the entire episode is Bojack just ranting. He's free thinking one issue, one story, one pain after another, and it all merges together beautifully. There's no cutaways or flashbacks. It's just Bojack talking through an entire episode. And really, the whole episode is pretty deep and powerful, but the best part is towards the end when Bojack explains parental relationships. You know what it's like? It's like that show Becker, you know, with Ted Danson. I watched the entire run of that show hoping that it would get better, and it never did. It had all the right pieces, but it just it couldn't put them together. And when it got canceled, I was really bummed out. Not because I liked the show, but because I knew it could be so much better, and now it never would be. And that's what losing a parent is like. It's like Becker. Suddenly you realize you'll never have the good relationship you wanted. And as long as they were alive, even though you'd never admit it, part of you was still holding on to that chance. And you didn't even realize it until that chance went away. 
So that's my list of the ouch to real moments from BoJack Horseman. Don't forget the new and final season is set to premiere I, anytime now, I don't know. And I hope this series can end with BoJack finding some kind of peace with himself. Thanks for watching my review of the series and we'll see you next time, family members. Bye! Well, family members, we're almost done, but I want to invite you to hang out with me in some other places. I'm on Twitter and Instagram as my own personal self, and I have a Facebook page too, but I mostly just post photos over there. And sometimes people say, hey, McGann, I want to mail you something. How do I do that? Easy. Just click the About tab on my channel page, and my most current P.O. Box info will be right there. I also run another channel, The Family. It's really a hodgepodge channel where we might post anything. Oh yeah, and I also sell shirts and stickers and stuff with the family and the fangirl logos. If that is your cup of tea, I have a link in every description of every video. Finally, if you want to help out the fangirl channel and make sure I'm putting out video essays for years to come, the best way you can help is by subscribing and watching more of my videos, whether they're new, old, whatever. Maybe even share one or two on social media, help spread the word. People who watch to the end of videos like you helps to tell the site, hey, this is a good video. We should recommend it to other people. So if you made it this far, leave me a comment of something like, hey, I made it to the end. Love ya. See you next time, family members. Bye.